Hey Gemini, and thank you so much for joining me here on your new moon through full moon reading. This is taking um, a, a different turn than my uh, usual readings, and especially of late. They've been really epically long, divine masculine, divine feminine, the full moon readings, and um, before those, those have been much more deep. This reading is going to be much shorter, so I hope you're into it. I really am excited about these readings because I'm using new oracle decks and I'm doing something very different. So what we're going to do is get into three different oracles, new, um, sorry, the moonology, sacred geometry, and the Kim Kranz archetypal um, oracle. And with this, I just put out, I pulled out the self cards or the self cards. Um, there are 30 cards that are, um, that are the, uh, the, what we need to pay attention to as far as the different archetypes for the self. So, so we're pulling one of these cards, one sacred geometry, one um, moonology, and then for the tarot, we're going to be using the angel tarot. And I just pulled out, if you could see, it's really thin here. I just pulled out, um, was guided to pull out the major arcana cards, which are the archangel cards of this tarot deck. So we'll be getting one of those cards. So first, with Moonology, Gemini, let's get right into it with our Moonology cards and see what we get here to start off our message for, um, or messages I should say, for the time period between this new moon and the full moon. And I am doing this, was guided to wait until the full moon and, um, doing these readings here, sorry, new moon, doing these readings here on the new moon on the 13th um, and this last day of the Stargate. So I was, I was um, our Stargate is between the 3rd and the 13th and I was guided to wait until today and um, to get, whoa, to get into it. I'm going to put those back and I'm hearing we're ready to pull and that's our card right there. So first card. Well, we have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So new moon energy coming out here, work through our fears, um, new moon in Scorpio. Uh, I'm feeling some, like, something to do with being alone. Um, but let's get into the the sacred geometry cards right off of the bat here, because I think that it's like, you'll see, we'll, we're going to get more into this, but something comes up with, like, going off on your own, or being alone, or somebody leaving you alone, or being left alone, or something to that effect is coming through as far as um, work through your fears. Um, fears of abandonment, that sort of thing, um, or feelings of abandonment, trauma, trauma that type of thing. Um, the unknown. There's a lot coming up here. Um, just general worry, being anxious, stressing about stuff, just all sorts of stuff, Gemini. Um, other people, circumstances that you're really like, been, and also I'm hearing really trying not to worry. <laughs> like, you know this has been a thing, and you're tr really trying hard not, here's our card, really trying hard not to go there, really trying to work through your fears, really trying to identify, like, oh, I'm, I'm being anxious, I'm stressing, I'm worrying, I'm thinking about stuff, like, way down the line, I'm projecting, you know, that sort of thing, and, like, catching yourself. So let's see what we have here. Metatron's Cube, wow, the All and the Akashic Records, look at this. 
Okay, let's dive right in here with Metatron's Cube, card number 15. Oh, okay. The All um, and the Akashic Records. I want some light here. Okay. Every cell within the, my body has now awakened to the sacred geometry that has lay dormant within me. I can access the Akashic Records of ancient civilizations. This pattern is one of the most important of the entire universe as it holds within it the map or blueprint of creation. Within this geometry are all five platonic, platonic solids. It has been drawn today as you are ready to activate the sacred geometry that lies deep within your cells. It is time to delve into the sacred knowings of the ancient civilizations and the Akashic reg records to create the energetic shifts that will allow you to enhance your life path and all who cross your path. Sacred geometry. When we add 78 lines to the fruit of life, we are bringing in the masculine energy. The lines are male and the spheres or circles are female. It is a complex weaving of information systems. By joining up and connecting each of the spheres with straight lines, we end up with Metatron's cube. Let me show you this again. And I encourage you to look up Metatron's cube and to go even deeper is to draw Metatron's cube. Not easy, but I suggest you do it and do it precisely. Within this pattern are the beginning, are the bringing together of duality, male and female, yin and yang. Metatron is the archangel in charge of the world. Metatron was one of two human prophets who was rewarded with ascension into the archangel realm as he was so devout to his faith. The other is Sandalfon. Practical application. Metatron holds the key to all sacred geometry and its underlying wisdoms, the Akashic records, and ultimately the all. You can call upon him as your teacher and use it as a gateway to learning more about the hidden esoteric knowledge that lies within Metatron's cube through its complex weaving of informational systems and pertinent lines. Metatron can also be called upon when you are in need of some healing and clearing. Remember, the cube holds all five platonic solids from which all life forms are created. They are the building blocks of life found within everything. Our awakening is imminent to survive the ever-changing shifts and vibrations of our planet. Our yearning to learn and know is expanding as the recognition deep within, deep within us starts to reignite. And card numerology is three, which is also represented by ascended masters and archangels. And crystal suggestions is any set of platonic solids, crystal, merkaba, uh, danbarite, and morganite. Okay, so, wow, that's a big one. <laughs> um, so, we can't really connect clearly if we're in fear. And so activating our Merkaba, working with um, sacred geometry, really connecting with those like Metatron, Merlin, um, all the archangels actually, um, really getting into the understanding of how things are put together really can help you from a different perspective understand your journey, I'm hearing. Um, maybe there's some things that we have yet to connect. I'm hearing to connect and to understand the divine masculine energies, the divine feminine energies, if that's really coming through um, right now. If you haven't yet watched my videos with the divine masculine and the divine feminine, I really suggest that you do that. Um, you, you will understand more of what is in need to release and to let go of so you can get, come into greater contact 
and connection with your soul and ultimately your your um your own soul song sacred geometry and the akashic records that are um important for you to um, access to help you at any given time okay feeling this card right here I'm also feeling that I'm here, I'm seeing crystals, um, the crystals that were mentioned, but just any crystals that you have, um, just if you have a pendulum, go render crystals and use your pendulum to tell you which crystals would be really good for you to, to keep near you right now. Oh. Okay. And card number 21, the mystic, is the card coming up for you. Uh, in this reading now, let's get right to it. This will help us with the, um, with the whole message here. The mystic, I love it. Um, card number 21, there it is. The mystic, one more time. Beautiful Gemini. We have the mystic here. Okay. The seer, the light worker, the dreamer. The mystic is often misunderstood in our culture, depicted as a wandering or lighthearted daydreamer. Yet like Shiva, the true mystic plays a critical role in society, remaining fearlessly dedicated to the path of transformation. In order to save the earth from darkness, Shiva fought Shiva swallows the poison of the world and holds it in his throat, slowly transmuting the fluid into nectar. This is the work of the mystic. They do not fear darkness, but rather sit in the presence of it, harness the potential and latent energy around it, and embed it with light. They are patient and prudent change makers, seeking growth above all else. Unanswerable questions are the mystic's lifeblood. The mystic reveals, sorry, revels in mystery and the great riddle of life, dancing with the forces of light and dark upon its wings. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a mystic, and I definitely can say that that's basically what it's like. Um, okay, and when light, remover of darkness, visionary, ageless, when dark expects results, seeks attention and recognition, and go deeper, Zen. Gosh, Zen Ko Koan's poetry, Murakami novels, and like any light worker, the mystic must build a relationship with fire. This begins by awakening the inner flame or tapas within, and it may seem that the mystic is inward facing, yet its light beams back to the world with the strength of a thousand stars. Okay, so really interesting here the mystic coming through with metatron's cube uh huh. um and work through your fear so this is this to me is really saying like let's lean into our inner knowing to to dancing with the with the light and and the shadow and um not be afraid of what others may think of us as we're diving into sacred knowledge that is once you dig a little once you dig deep into metaphysics into spirituality you see that so much is connected there and so much is a lot less woo woo and flighty and much more uh <laughs> you know right angles if you will than than what it may appear and i think that's kind of like what the thing is the deal is with with a mystic is that we may seem like we're very again flighty and and you know 
without um, certain rules or whatever, but it's 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 very much the opposite. It's more like the rule of of light, and light reflects in different ways. So it's it's paying attention to what is coming at any given moment and honoring that. Okay, let's get some. Let's get our our. Uh, Major Arcana card from our Archangels. Getting one card, so one of each of these. And let's see what we can get um, here. Okay, there it is. Unity, card number five was Sandal Fawn. Wow, so we got Metatron and Sandal Fawn. Interesting. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded individuals. So yeah, I'm kind of seeing this like, uh, so here we have with Unity, we have we have Metatron, and Metatron, Metatron's Cube, and Sandal Fawn um, coming up here. Sandal Fawn coming up. Uh, twice so is Metatron and that they really representing the um, the the ultimate kind of crossing over from human to to divine um, and accepting and following um, kind of the mystic path right the 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 path of the of handing over you know being a mystic really what that means is that you're all completely in on on faith and being um, in that realm of energy and sure using logic, sure using experience, sure using intellect, sure using wisdom, but what governs that is feeling of energy. So um, kind of the mystic equals um, not for not across the board, but what's naturally kind of in that same hammock of energy is empath. So if you're an empath, or if you think you might be an empath, or you've never heard of what you know empath or any of that, please check out my ebook, The Essential Empath Guide. There's also a test there because I'm feeling that there's like circumstances this is work through your fears with this with the Scorpio new moon and it feels like there could be circumstances and situations that you've been you know a part of all of your life that you've you've like felt or maybe it's like after the part after the part the fact it's more like I knew that I felt that I understood that but I did but I but it's like but but what I see and what I heard and what I and what I know is this other thing, and so kind of it, it it's about um, blending those two, but but really leaning into the knowing aspects, the the psychic aspects, the the opening third eye and and sacred geometry and working with archangels. Um, again, unity. So this is speaking to unity with with incarnates. This is speaking to unity with um, those like archangels, those guardian angels, things like you know, things like that. And putting your fear, getting over fear of of thinking things like like you know, like it feels like there's just like kind of a <laughs> natural Gemini, like the two sides of that, like the the. The, yeah, I, you know, there's logic experience and all of that. And then there's this side of uh, knowing, feeling, being clairsentient, claircognizant, um, hearing things, clair, using cl that clairaudient um, ability. And this may be something that has been very, like, quiet and only kind of comes out a little bit here and there and it's just ramping up more now and you're just like what is going on and so it feels kind of like that but it's kind of like 
lean in to what's going on here with you during this time of new moon to full moon. Really step into learning more about sacred geometry and what it means, what this um, Metatron's cube is all about and connecting with him and and clearing some energy, being guided in a way to understand your own inner knowing, your energy, what may be whole, held on in your body um, that is influencing how you feel. And, and that's quantum, um, that's physics, that's, that's energy on a cellular level that needs to, to come out. Um, and we all have that. We all have a lot of that that needs to be worked on. So again, I do that kind of work. So if you're so guided, please check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org, and see if there's um, work that I could do with you or just information that you can get um, or self-healing meditations that I have on there that are totally free and that you can... Um, that you can uh, try to do and see and they usually help everybody but I would start with really the one for fear there's one for fear shame guilt um feeling unworthy imposter syndrome related to money love the unknown and mistakes or failures it's a really deep um self-healing meditation and and that's what's coming up but anything else that you might be um that may grab your attention definitely learning about or checking out that that empath ebook i would certainly recommend with what's coming up here because there's just a lot here that, that i mean look at just these three cards here unity metatron's cube and the mystic i mean this is just really saying like you there's stuff coming through it's just like ready for you to accept about yourself and um doing some really good energy you know cord cutting um, self-healing meditations or you know moderate and deeper energy healings um, with somebody like me um, connecting you and helping connect you helping release and transmute energies is really it's like climbing up the mountain and you know using all your force to get there or just somebody picking you up and putting you on the mountain and it being so much easier when you when you're there to feel see know and that's like the trajectory that's coming up here but we need to work through our past, work through our fears to be able to see it, feel it, know it, and dive into it is really what this is about, is really what I'm seeing here. Really accept yourself as somebody who is a light worker, um, uh, somebody who feels into energies in different ways and kind of just lives their life from this different perspective. And you can have that, both of those, you, those things can be in balance, I promise. Okay, thank you so much, Gemini, for joining me here for this reading. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.